My name is Mordred Dello. I'm Professor of Endocrinology and Metabolism at Imperial College London and I'd like to uh, share with you some of the data that our team has produced at Imperial and at Imanova Imaging Sciences Centre. We were investigating the effects of a hormone called cuspeptin. This is a new hormone that's only been uh, recently found about 10 years ago to be involved in reproductive function. Over the last 10 years, approximately 1,500 papers have been published showing its crucial role in the hypothalamus in terms of stimulating reproductive hormones. Cuspeptin and its receptor are also expressed in many area, other areas of the brain, including the human limbic system. However, its role there has not been previously known. We did a study a couple of years ago in animals where we injected cuspeptin and showed that it could alter their neuronal activity. This led on to our current question, could cuspeptin administration in healthy humans alter their neuronal activity in the human limbic system and reproductive behaviours? In order to investigate the effects of cuspeptin on the human limbic system, we did an fMRI study in 29 healthy male volunteers. fMRI is functional magnetic resonance imaging, and it's a method that you can use to detect neuronal activity in the brain of healthy humans. The men were admitted to our investigation unit and they had saline on one day as the control and on another day in random order they had cuspeptin. During the infusion they also underwent an fMRI scan. They looked at pictures specifically at sexual images, bonding images and a number of other neutral images. And using this methodology we were able to determine if cuspeptin could affect the human limbic system. What we found using these methodologies was that cuspeptin administration was able to stimulate neuronal activity in these healthy male volunteers to a higher degree compared to when they re received a saline control infusion. And so their limbic brain activity was heightened by cuspeptin administration, specifically when they were looking at sexual and couple bonding images. There was no stimulation when they were looking at neutral images, indicating that this was a specific effect. Importantly, this neural activity also correlated with reproductive behaviours. The implications of our findings are that cuspeptin in the human limbic system coordinates reproductive hormone secretion, neuronal activity and reproductive behaviours. And this has really important implications in patients with psychosexual disorders as cuspeptin may be able to heighten their reward responsiveness to sexual and couple bonding images.